and welcome to Nani Notes. Let's get to our golden spiral compass construction. It's actually an approximation, but we're starting it here with A, B, C, D, the square, and the two midpoints, E and F. That's your starting point. So let's get to it. We'll get this done in a class period, and, uh, and we'll have time to do other things too. So, um, well, you know how to gap your compass. Put the needle on E and let's gap it to C. Gotta admit, mine is you know, just about at its capacity right there. It swings through C, D, and that's good. And then we're going to swing it all the way down here. That's what we're looking for. You want to swing it down there. Where does it intersect the ray AB? Well, we're going to call it H right there. All right, that looks good. Let's do the same thing up top here. Put the needle on the F and gap it to B. Make sure it goes through A as well. That's a good sign. And swing it down here. Looks good. And we'll call that G. Okay, and let's draw a couple segments in there. It's like a little fish. Huh. Um, all right, we got two rectangles. You can see that. We got the horizontal rectangle and the vertical rectangle. And I'm going to ask you to do a bunch of measurements on the other side. Um, so go ahead and um, go ahead, flip the paper over. And see, I've got these, I've got these measurements I'm asking you for. And I'm also going to ask you for some ratios. So let's do these, um, let's get to these measurements. Well, um, this one, DG, okay, I'll just tell you what my students got. And you guys may get something else. I don't know. I'm, I got, uh, my students got 228 millimeters, something like that. Looks good. Now, um, how about over here? I've got GH, and my guys measured 141 millimeters, plus or minus one. You should be within one millimeter. And now, how about over here? HB or BH, and we got about 87. Yeah, I really can only expect you to go to like the nearest whole millimeter, but you should be good to one millimeter. Now let's have some calculator fun, and um, oh, I mean just that. We want a ratio, a couple ratios, DG, GH. Well, let's go ahead, take 228 and divide by 141. That's the length divided by the width of this horizontal rectangle. And let's report it to uh, 10,000. So let's go four digits, um, 1.6170. So we'll go ahead and write that down. And we've got that. And now let's take this measurement and we're going to divide it by this one. So um, I'm going to clear this out. Let's take our 141. Hey, and be honest, use the numbers you measured. Divide by 87. Uh, you know, similar. 1.6207. So, um, yeah, that's what we got. Now, you're going to have some other measurements to make. BK, KP, PT. Work. Well, they're not on there yet because we haven't constructed them yet. You can do that on your time. I'm just getting you started. And um, and we're you're going to have an epiphany with these numbers. Trust me, your teacher will tell you. So, uh, go ahead. Let's clean this up a little bit. Let's get back to swinging that compass. Remember, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. I want to see those marks, and so does your teacher. Put the needle on C. Okay, I'll tell you, we're making a square up here. We've got a square on the left. We're going to make a square on the top. Put a needle on C, gap it to G, and you're going to swing like this. Woof! Until you get this intersection, we'll call it K. Then, I'm going to reverse the compass. I'll put it on G. Gap it to C. Yikes, it missed. Sorry about that. Come on. There we go. And I'm going to swing it like that. And you can see I generate another intersection. Let's call it J. And that's KJ or JK, the segment. So we're on our way. We've got a square on the left. We've got a square on the top. We've got the spiraling pattern going on. Let's go for a square on the right. We'll make a square with signs HJ. So go ahead, gap your compass, needle on J, swing it through, gap it to H, swing it through, oh yeah, and it's going to intersect right there. Yikes, <laughs> wrong one. Uh, that's going to be your point P intersection right there. And go ahead and reverse your compass. You're going to put the needle now on the H, and you're going to swing it through J like that. And that's going to give you point Q. And go ahead, draw the segment PQ. 
Nice. So now we're getting somewhere. You notice we've got, God, we've got a lot of compass marks all over the place. Well, that's all right. Um, your teacher wants to see them, and so do I. So we've got a square on the left, the top, the right. This one goes on the bottom right here, BQ or QB. Put the needle on Q, swing it through B, right there, and that's going to give you the intersection T. Okay? Now, let's reverse it, put the needle the other way, and you're going to put it on B to Q, swing it through, nice. And I'll call that one R. Go ahead and draw the segment RT, and um, there you go. You've got another square. So you see this pattern goes on and on. This is, well, this is the whole essence of a fractal, self-similarity. Um, we've got a, let's look at this pattern again. Left, top, right, bottom, left, top, right, bottom. Let's do one more square here. And I'm going to put the needle on the K. It's going to get hard now. They're going to get really skinny. From K, gap it to R, like that. Okay. And we'll, I'll call that one V. And then I'm going to swing the compass around from R through K. Swing it this way. And I'll call that one Y. So we draw in that segment. We've got VY. Yikes. Um, you know, I want you to keep all those marks there. But I'll be honest, I'm going to hide mine because I, I can't. I can't. Uh, no, I'm getting lost here. Control B. Okay. Because uh, I want you to see what's coming up next. What, um, hey, you know, I'll tell you what. If you want to keep going with these, if you can keep making squares in this pattern, left, top, right, bottom, left, top, right, bottom. Just imagine. Remember what they said in class. Wax on. So if you can keep going, see if you can keep generating smaller and smaller squares. That may be hard to do. See if you can do it. Now, let's, let's put the um, quarter circles in the spiral. Um, every one of these squares, well, we can look at is marking out a quarter circle. We'll put the needle on B now. Hey, bust out the colored pencils and make this arc darker or make it stand out from your other marks, which are your construction arcs. Make this one stand out. So you've got your AC right there. Nice. Then, I want you to put the needle on the K, gap it to J. You've got another quarter circle there. Looks pretty good. Then, I want you to move your compass here from P, gap it to J. And I think you can see what's happening here. From T, gap it to Q. Very nice. And then finally, from Y, and go ahead, gap it to R. And you've got, hey, you've got a beautiful little spiral going. If you were able to make the smaller squares, you could keep the arcs going. Hey, that would be really awesome. Um, now have some fun with this. Go ahead and, and color it, or maybe you want to talk about sectors in your class. Um, maybe you want to talk about segments in your class. Do something fun with it. Um, and then maybe it's time to discuss this magic number. Um, well, we'll do this with calculator, and I'm going to leave you with this final thought. So um, hang on, let's pull up that calculator, clear that. And let's turn this into a decimal. We're going to explore this, this um, number phi that you've probably heard about in class. And let's see if we can turn this into a decimal. 5, we'll take the square root of 5. That's the square root of 5 plus 1. And let's take that and we'll divide it by 2. Does that look familiar? I hope it does.